Did you know that just 24 hours without food can trigger a metabolic switch that could help you burn fat? boost brain function, and even repair damaged cells. But what really happens inside your body when you fast for a full day? And should you actually do it? Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified family and obesity medicine doctor. And today, we're breaking down exactly what happens hour by hour when you fast for 24 hours. Trust me, some of these changes are going to blow your mind, especially what happens after the 16 hour mark. Before we dive in, I want you to do me a favor and drop a comment below and let me know. Have you ever tried fasting for 24 hours? If not, what's stopping you? I try to read every single comment and who knows, your experience might help someone else in their fasting journey. All right, let's get into it. In today's video, we're diving deep into the science of a 24 hour fast, hour by hour. I'll break down exactly what happens in your body from the moment you take your last bite to the metabolic magic that happens when you push through that fasting window. And stick around because at the end, I'll reveal the biggest mistake people make when breaking a fast. Get this wrong and you could completely undo your hard work. Let's start with hours zero through four. Your body is still in fed mode. Right after your last meal, your body is still digesting. Blood sugar levels rise and insulin is released to shuttle nutrients into your cells. If your meal had carbs, your body is still using glucose for fuel. Fun fact, did you know that insulin is like a traffic cop? It directs glucose into your cells for energy and tells your body, no need to burn fat right now, we've got fuel. Hours four through eight. Here, you're transitioning into a fasted state. Insulin levels start to drop. Your body begins shifting from using glucose to break it down, store glycogen in the liver for energy. Hunger might kick in, but it's more psychological than physical because your body is used to routine meal time. Fun fact, your stomach growls during fasting, not because you're starving, but because of the migrating motor complex, a process that cleans out your digestive system. Fun fact number two, did you know that for every one molecule of glycogen, your body stores three molecules of water? That means when you start fasting and burn through glycogen, your body also releases a lot of water, which is why people often see rapid water loss in the first day or two of fasting. Hours eight through 12, fat burning begins. Glycogen stores are running low and your body starts tapping into stored fat for energy. Blood sugar stabilizes, insulin stays low, and your metabolic rate actually may increase by up to 14%. You might feel a little tired or foggy, but that's normal as your body adapts. Fun fact, fasting can actually increase adrenaline and norepinephrine, making you more alert and focused. This comes from our hunter-gatherer days when we needed sharp minds to find food. Hours 12 through 16. Now your liver starts producing ketones, alternate fuel molecules made from fat. Ketones boost brain function, reduce inflammation, and signal your body to preserve muscle mass. You might experience mental clarity and improved focus, fasting's version of superpowers. It's like the movie Limitless without having to take a magical pill. Thankfully, you won't have to be on a special pill if you're fasting periodically. Fun fact, your brain actually runs more efficiently on ketones than glucose, up to 70% more efficiently. It's like upgrading from a regular fuel to premium. Hours 16 through 20. Autophagy, your body's cleanup crew kicks in, which is your body's way of cleaning out old damaged cells and regenerating new healthier ones. This process has been linked to anti-aging, cancer prevention, and better metabolic health. Some researchers even call this your body's natural detox system. Fun fact, the 2016 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to a scientist who discovered autophagy's role in cellular renewal and longevity. Hours 20 through 24, your body is now in full on fat burning mode. Growth hormone levels skyrocket by up to five times, helping preserve muscle while melting fat. Inflammation continues to drop and your gut gets a much needed rest from digestion. Fun fact, fasting has been shown to increase stem cell production, meaning your body is literally repairing itself from the inside out. All right. Now that you have the 24 hours of fasting under your belt, I promise you the one mistake that could wreck your fasting results. Here it is, breaking your fast the wrong way. If you slam high carb, high sugar meals after fasting, your blood sugar will spike, insulin will shoot up, and you'll undo a lot of that hard work. Instead, break your fast gently with protein, healthy fats, and of course, electrolytes. Think eggs, bone broth, or a small portion of meat. Fun fact, drinking bone broth when 
breaking a fast, replenishes electrolytes, and supports gut healing. Plus, it's packed with collagen for skin and joint health. So, so the question is, should you try a 24-hour fast? My answer, absolutely if it fits your lifestyle and goals. So, so let's do a quick recap. First eight hours, still burning glycogen. Hours eight through 12, fat burning kicks in. Hours 12 through 16, ketones start fueling your brain. 16 to 20 hours, autophagy cleans up damaged cells. And hours 20 to 24, deep fat burning, cellular repair, and anti-aging benefits kick in. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever tried a 24-hour fast? What's your biggest challenge with fasting? Drop a comment below. I do my best to read and reply to most comments. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And do me a favor and check out this video on the screen right now, because this is a video where Dr. Ba surprisingly shares how she survived 12 felonies. This conversation will blow your mind and definitely one you don't want to miss. And until the next video from the Metabolic Health Doc, Continue to be safe, be well, and continue to protect your nest.